Hey, hey world, it's Michael Gascon, the horse guru, and I'm back with another virtual clinic. Today we are gonna be working with Rip. Rip is a eight-year-old spotted saddle horse who was basically untouched and unhandled when he came to this farm. He came in and ran off kind of like uh, cattle. And today we are gonna be putting him on the trailer for the first time since he's got here and got some training on him. If you notice behind me, I have a stock trailer. Just the any run of the mill, that's always my favorite. If you only have one trailer and, and it's a straight load or a slant load and a small, that's okay. But we prefer, if we have options, to use our stock trailer that's big and open and easy for them to get into. Just have a natural horsemanship halter on them. And I have a little, a little lasso with me. And this is one of the easiest ways for me to be able to do this in the beginning is I love the same way I teach a foal how to lead with a butt rope. I love to get a lasso and show the horses how to do this. We'll start by desensitizing them a little bit with it. I'll toss this over his butt, just like that. And I want it to go over his back, under his butt, but above his hocks, just like that. And I'm really not gonna touch it or mess with it. Now this is the, the next big thing. Whenever we go to this trailer, I see a lot of people they expect, well, this horse is never loaded in a trailer, so they're already ner Carry the same energy you've been training with. We've cult started this horse. We've been uh, following steers around, going through obstacles. When we approach obstacles, when we approach water, our eyes are up and all of our energy is like we've already passed it. Oh, just another obstacle in life. We're going towards our destination. And for the most part, he just kind of goes with us. So why would we treat the, the trailer any different? Another thing you'll want to notice, I'll have my, my camera come around here to the side a little bit. And what you're going to see is, when, if he shuts down, I'm going to let this rope slide through my hand. What I'm not going to do is I'm not going to take one step up in the trailer, he slows down because I step up and above him, and then turn and face him. How do we get the horse to back up? How do we get the horse to stop and get out of our space? We face them. People are assertive whenever they face the horse, so I don't want to do that. So I want to walk, and I have a 15-foot lead rope, so if I stop and face this horse, I should be at the, the front of my trailer or at the end of my rope you're going to be amazed if you try this at home how many horses they'll kind of stutter step when you step up above them but as you keep walking uninterruptedly by letting that rope slide through your hand that draw is going to draw them right in it's the same thing we do with liberty they see you still moving away from them and like whoa wait wait don't leave me and they're going to go with you it's amazing how many horses without any fight without any argument that were supposed to be trailer problem horses when somebody would just grab them by the face kind of walk them forward and walk on with no issue. Now, if I have to use this butt rope, it's not meant to physically pull him on, it's meant to bump him in the butt. I'm gonna walk right here, let that rope slide through my hands. There we go. When I get in here, I'm just gonna pet him. There we go. Also, if you have a horse that has the habit of running backwards, the butt rope can work here too. You untie them and ask them to back up. Now you gotta make sure, don't let them jump in your space, but if they start backing up, you can goose them. And goose them, you're just gonna, you're just gonna grab and hold for a moment and release. We are not physically trying to pull this horse on with this butt rope. We're just trying to touch them and give them some incentive from behind them if we need to. Then to asking them to back up. By the time that you're here, Good boy, back up, good job buddy, good job. If you watch this video and you're thinking, oh my gosh, that horse has definitely been loaded, they practiced this, this is the first time, ask any of the students, ask whoever you want, this is the first time he's been put on, but you would be amazed how often that's the case. A horse comes in, a horse comes in and they've never been loaded up on a trailer, once they give to pressure and once they trust you and are believing in your leadership, it's amazing how many will just walk right on the trailer, but the key is this. I wanna walk them on again. Notice I'm not gonna start from right there. I wanna have the door already open. Another thing I don't wanna do is walk up to a closed trailer with my horse, open the door and then try to walk on. You have no momentum, you have no draw. I wanna walk away. As I start approaching, I'm already walking like it's no big deal. 
good boy. It's amazing how many of these things, whether it's loading in a trailer, whether it's clipping or worming or so many of these things that people have common problems with, so many of it is because of in our mind. Back. Back. The other thing is we want him to back off of it. That way he's a lot more likely to just step down. So notice I'm not in a rush to get him off. So your horse is a lot less likely to get injured. Your horse is a lot safer if the only place to get off or on is in concrete or on the road or on pavement. If they're backing off, they're a lot more likely to step off. Horses that come off forward, not all, broad stroke statement, but a lot of them like to hop off the trailer. And if it's slick footing or wet grass, um, they can hurt themselves or, or sprain or twist something by coming off quickly. So that is the easiest way to get a horse on. And again, biggest pro tips here. Make sure if they slow down that you don't. Do not turn and look at that horse. What I don't want you to do is this. I don't want you to come here. He kind of, come on, come on. Come. You're, gonna, you're really going to have an issue. So many horses are going to suck back away from you because you've just faced them and you cut down all that energy. You want to keep drawing right in there. Keep letting that rope slide through your hand. The butt rope is a great key. I've used that little lasso on so many horses that people have had all these problems and they put four people behind them and they, they're cropping and flagging and doing all these funny things. And I simply just come up with that butt rope. Whenever I get to the end of my line, goose them. Woo! Something touches their butt, they hop on, no problem. That's the, the easiest way to, to get the horse on. The other thing, I find a lot of people fail with trailer loading because they're trying to trailer load. And this happens before the horse gives the pressure. If your horse doesn't tie, you don't want to tie them in a trailer. If your horse doesn't lead, you don't want to lead them on a trailer. If your horse doesn't do obstacles, if your horse says no for all these things and has resistance, you don't want to try to do this and drive them on there. You want to treat them more like cattle. Well, I have this uncarted colt that I need to take to the vet. That's okay. They take cattle every day around the world. They take goats. They take sheep. They take pigs. They don't lead them on. They shoe them on. So whether you have to move a panel around or put your trailer up on the fence or, or put the gate um, by the stall and shoe them in, horses that don't give the pressure, you shouldn't try to show them how to give the pressure by putting them in a metal box, by pulling on their face or tying them up. That's where I find a lot of people have an issue. And then they fail there early on in the horse's life and now the horse has like a phobia about it because they were asked to give the pressure when they didn't give the pressure in general life. So if it's a riding horse, the horse already gives the pressure just like that. Horse should go on, no problem. If your horse doesn't tie, doesn't give the pressure, doesn't do, look to get those things accomplished first. It's amazing, every single horse that comes here for training, every single one has trailer loading on their, their sheet of things they want us to do. I'm gonna tell you a secret. We very rarely get the trailer out for special trailer loading. By the time the horse will give his face, is respectful, passing the respect series. You can ride it through an obstacle. You can go through the tunnel and up the stairs and, and all the things a riding horse should do. It's amazing how the horse would just follow you on the trailer like it's no big deal. It kind of puts life in perspective. But if you have a horse that says no on the trail and spooks off of the rail and pulls on you whenever you go to fly spray him or spray him down with water, that horse doesn't give to pressure. He's resistant. Well, then when you put them in a claustrophobic space, there's going to be an issue. So if you go back to the respect series, get them soft and easy. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the link in our bio and you can go to our membership. Okay. Over 700 videos of content there to help you out every step of the process, how to get your horse from feral to nice and easy, just like Rip here, looking like a cool boy. If you would see this guy whenever he came in with cockerburrows in his hair, just wild as a banshee. Now he's all quiet and easy. Good job. Super happy with that guy. Well guys, I am supposed to do a giveaway, but I gotta have a secret word. And I'm gonna come up with a secret code right now off the top of my head. Hmm. Okay, the secret code word. All you gotta do if you're watching this live, be the first person to email this to gasconhorsemanship at gmail.com. If you give this secret code, black blowfish. I repeat, black blowfish. If you put that word in the email, you're gonna win a one week stay at our retreats where you can ride all different kinds of horses and learn all this cool horsemanship down here in South Mississippi. Come in the winter, you'll be freezing where you're from and you'll be warm in a t-shirt here. It's a great place to be. I'll see you there. See you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.